With a game like this, you can either play it aggressively or defensively. With an aggressive playstyle, you get more points, you can kill enemies faster, but at the same time, you're gonna die much quicker. With defensive playstyle, you're not going to be as fast at killing enemies, you gather as many points, but you're going to have a better chance of surviving. And in games like this, a good defense is better than good offense. Because at the end of the day, if you run out of all those lives and continues, you gotta start all over, all over again. So I suggest playing it defensively just because survival is that important. I'm going to discuss different ways to use a vaunt meter. You can use one way where it's always on, and using it that way, your goal is to acquire as many points as possible to kill enemies quickly. As I'm doing right now, I'm leaving the vaunt meter on, I'm going to turn it off and try to kill these enemies as fast as possible. You can also choose to turn the vault meter on and off however you feel, and it makes it more strategic. So I'm not going to use the vault meter for a while until I feel like I'm in danger, so I activate the temporary shield as you're going to see. Alright, turn the vault on, those bullets aren't going to hit me so I'm safe now. And I'll turn it off, and for a while I cannot, I cannot gather coins to use the vault meter. Okay, I can use Vaunt again, but I'm going to save it once more and you'll see why. Okay, Vaunt on and save my life. With games like this, memorization is definitely an important, is definitely a factor of the kind of game. You're going to definitely get hit multiple times, play the level through multiple times trying to beat it, so you're going to have to memorize enemy patterns, where they spawn from, where to dodge the bullets, etc. That's just how these kind of games are. Go in, you memorize, you know, you mess up, you try again. And what I noticed is that the more you play a level, the better and better you get at it, because mostly because of memorization.